Hello everyone and welcome back to Kitty Plays Danganronpa and this time we are on episode 9. We have just started chapter 2. The last episode was Sayaka's trial and we saw Leon get pummeled with baseballs. Hope he liked balls because, <laughs> okay, en enough ball jokes. We have to move on here to chapter 2. So, also I hope you guys all watched the previous episodes before th this because if not you just got spoiled so... You know, it's whatever, but I hope you've been watching each episode up until now. Please do not just jump into, like, episode 5 or something. You will be, one, confused, and two, you will get spoiled of things. So, yeah. Anyways, enough about that. Let's move on here. It is nighttime, apparently, after we got back from the uh, Sayaka's trial. And dots. More dots. Well, I mean, I can feel I can feel why Makoto, like, has nothing to say because I mean, a lot just happened. So I bet he's just like, you know, it's all kind of sinking in. So you know, and another set of dots. Oh, okay, that's it. Um, so I guess wait, I guess he should go to bed because it's, it's nighttime. Yeah, he's speechless. Oh, okay, we're not going to bed. It's nighttime. I, um, are we going out then? I mean... Poor Makoto. Oh, okay. Oh, his bathroom. Uh, and more dots. Yeah, Sayaka's body is gone. And it's clean. Gasp. It's gone. She... She really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. I mean, it's spotless and everything. Like, it's as if she didn't die in that bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Every last sign of Saika's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us... Uh-huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. <coughs> Excuse me. Just seeing your delightful smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> well, thanks, Monokuma, for being kind of understanding. I mean, as understanding as he can be, but whatever. I didn't even have time to mourn Saika and Junko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time! I was just about to go get you and drag you back here! Sorry. Hmm. So, hmm. what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. You can sleep hey, with me. Come Makoto. On. Jesus, that's effed up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Also ignored what I was kind of almost saying earlier. Mondo interrupted me, so it's whatever. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Saika made the first move. Well... But, but if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. 
working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they provided and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the la late the, sorry. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. Then what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. No. What? No what? I... I can't take it. I... I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? Did you kill someone, Chihiro? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... But... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? Poor so Chihiro. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Masochist. Whatever. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The Masterminder is responsible for everything that's happened. Exactly. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. <laughs> and in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the Mastermind. And there's the nighttime bell. Speaking of the Mastermind. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> this app yeah, yeah. on the do Oh, and oh. one other thing. Okay. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourself feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Gee, thanks Monica. <laughs> <laughs> what was that just, what was that about just now? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of crap. What does he think he is? Dots. And so, the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Saika, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. <sighs> it's only just begun. Oh, boys' la <coughs> la life of despair. I I wanted to read that as boys' love, but I refrained myself just for you guys. God, cat, why are you obs so obsessed with boys' love? God, give it a rest. <clears throat> yeah, I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. <laughs> okay, lift your arms up and down. I knew this was coming. Taka's like, yeah, I got this. Hina's like, um, I'm trying over here. And, and then the rest of them are just watching and Togami's like, yeah, I'm too good for this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two. Three, four. I love Taka so much. He's just, he's, he's precious. He's so precious. Now reach way up and bend way down. 
tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Doesn't this just feel great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> uh, you're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? <laughs> Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in rhythm agony for? So? So why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Yeah. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the empire of darkness, the power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost read that as Monokuma. Or, you know, but <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey. Of um... course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Er, pause. Okay, so then. Hmm. Ah, uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? Is this is turning into a song I can't sing very well. You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with no nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. My god, I gotta keep you motivated. And it's a hard one. Very nice. So go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he showed up. But... a new world? Could it be... Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. <laughs> that seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant. It seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall, and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a staple f food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Okay. What the heck? <clears throat> hey Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad! This is super bad, man! What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye it's nothing, but this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap! For serious? That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here. <laughs> Let me out of here. Let me out. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone for now. As much as I love him, I'm gonna go. Bye, hero. Don't get too crazy now. I'm watching you. Okay, so. Oh, hello, Taka. Makoto, look! The stairs! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up. You hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. Th th thanks, Taka. I'm gonna go to the second floor now. Bye. And, um, check on Hero for me. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a whole new world? Totally not gonna break out in a song, by the way. If so, what's up there? Oh, look, a 
it's all pretty and blue. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's got to be something here. Okay, let's see. There's nothing down here. Oh, look, windows. Okay, and there's there's the third floor stairs. Which are, of course, blocked. Um, oh, yeah, the library. Ta-da! It's a library! And, of course, there's already people here. Hey, butt face, what you doing? Hmm. But still, <clears throat> but still, this library is most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Do you have to listen to me, Makoto? My god, are you obsessed with me? You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> N not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm-hmm. Indeed. There's a plethora of books, it's true. But the content seems lacking. You know nothing. Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Huh? Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Hmm. I've seen hmm. what you write, Miss hmm. Fukawa. Hmm. We saw Mink God. Well, I'm trying to read these. <sighs> okay, let me start over. I've seen what you write, Miss Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. What the heck? My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. S someone should just burn it all. <laughs> oh, the lady death pro doth protest... I'm sorry, I cannot read, okay? Oh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy on boy action. I mean, some of us are not so secretly into that, so I mean... I'm just gonna say... <laughs> boy on boy? I don't care if it's anime or comics or fanfic or w whatever. I'm telling you... It's all filth. Gee, thanks, Toko. It's all filth, throwaway culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Well, let's see. It's been most mostly a decade since this game came out, and boy on boy act or boy on boy manga is still out there. So she's kind of wrong, but it's okay. I love you still, Toko, even if you hate it. But it's okay. Uh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna th throw up. <laughs> you've insulted me and you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Oh, hi, Kyoko. I almost didn't see you there. I'm kidding. I did see <sighs> her there. It's remarkably dusty in here. The lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. Let's see. Oh, what's this envelope? The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. I mean, I know how long it sat there, but I ain't gonna say, because it'll spoil stuff. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other, read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Uh, okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates' entire society re ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues, quote unquote, on serious issues, beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, that is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. 
For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? <laughs> hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hulk's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So, you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. Well, I mean... No, I, I, I can't say anything right now. So... <laughs> But I didn't get that sense at all. Yeah, Makoto, you didn't. You really didn't. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I like have to refrain from like saying this a lot because, duh, spoilers. But yeah. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So in other words... That must have all been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who would create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. <laughs> of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. <laughs> that would be a nice, simple solution, it's true. But then, what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious, <clears throat> serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make, no but make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What did they mean by ser- <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> what did they mean by serious issues? I mean, Makoto, when we say serious, we mean serious, so. That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. Yeah. If the two events are in fact connected, Uncovering that connection would be a useful clue, on top of figuring out the Mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. <laughs> so in other words, only the Mastermind knows the truth right now. The Mastermind's motive, if we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Well, we don't know. Oops, I thought I clicked on the desk. But I clicked on her instead. Oh well. I, I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah, I thought I clicked on the desk, but Okay, here we go. <clears throat> There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time. Just like that letter. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of Unkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. Yeah, Monokuma, get back to dusting. My god. Such a lazy bear. Oh, yay, coin! Oh, yeah, I gotta go spend those. Her dirt. Okay. Let's look at these dusty old books. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is available. Oh, okay, same thing, same thing, yeah. Um, oh yeah, this door. What's behind this door? It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. Jeez, Togami. That's true. I don't really have any reason to check it out. For now. Okay, am I done here? Oh wait, I can't go. Okay. Um, oh yeah, the computer. Duh, I'm stupid. Okay, it looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. Makoto, the Mastermind's not gonna make it that easy. Or that accessible, because I mean, they ain't stupid. So... If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. 
Oh. Uh, yeah. Because we're done exploring in there. I was, I, I was going to press the, the um, tab key to see if there was more stuff to investigate, but I ended up pressing the R key, and yeah, we must have looked at everything there. Okay. Now then. Oh, the windows. It, it just looks so weird with these chairs here and, like, these bolted windows. Like, it just it looks weird. Because, duh. Okay. Yeah, I'm running into walls. Makoto, know where you're going. Okay, clap. I mean, do we need to check the classrooms? And I do anyway. Reality isn't everything. And <laughs> Mako, I mean, Monokuma looks more realistic in that picture. Okay. Nothing here, obviously. Um. Oh, yeah. I remember what else is up here. Okay, where was that again? Oh, wait, towards the, the third floor stairs, I think. That's, yeah, the library, we were just there. Okay. No, wait, it was by the, side, the, the other stairs. Duh, I'm sorry, I'm... I get lost easily. The pool! Just a second! Oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! Pool, 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 Hey, no, we get it. You love, you love to swim. You don't have to keep repeating, and I got it. Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. I mean, obviously. And Celeste is here. <laughs> The second floor has opened up, the living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Hey Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um, no. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But... But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go into the locker room? Um... It's not that I don't want to, it's just... Poor Chihiro. I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. Yeah, Makoto, it's a weird phobia. <clears throat> I'll keep my mouth shut for now. There are a bunch of different pool-related items on the shelf. And a coin! Yippee! Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a Gatling gun. Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at the... It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? Behind this door is the locker room? Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the lock into the locker rooms. Really? Of course. Really, really. <gasps> ah! hmm. If you want to unlock the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh-huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line! But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity! See? There's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? And it'll be all ducka 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 ducka! Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Hina. Hina, we love you, but yeah. That's an understatement right there. Um, um no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? <gasps> what? That never even occurred to me! To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish! Mm -hmm. Okay, then how's this sound? 
I got it! Time for a new rule! As of this moment, loaning your handbook to another student is strictly prohibited! <laughs> there! So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You could take a dead person's handbook, though. Oops! Minor spoiler. I mean, it's not that big of a spoiler. I mean, I'm gonna shut up now. You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using their handbook. So, um... But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you did... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help but laughing when he when he talks like this. It's all because you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs. You're at that age, you try humming a plastic bottle. Monokuma, I just don't know. I, I just, I really don't know. So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there will be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself! Disgusting. I don't care what happens in your private dorms! By force or by cunning, do whatever you want! Just the worst! I hate you so much. See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation is now in place! See ya! <laughs> Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Then how do you wash your face, is what I want to know. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll pass this time. <gasps> how come? Well, when you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Listen to me! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library! Okay. And a pool! A freaking pool! And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment! Well... There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see! Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery! Quiet down and the, listen! The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. <laughs> are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, what about the effing way out of here? You find anything on that? Oh, well, um... Why? There wasn't anything Why? in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing? Uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You effing people. What? Who gives a crap if we have a goddamn pool now? Or warehouse? Or whatever the frick? Stop fucking around. We're still trapped in this piece of crap school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> Now, now, there is no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation, adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you effing loon. <clears throat> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then... So, are we done for today? Y yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. Poor Tonka! Poor baby! The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the Mastermind's plan? To give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? <laughs> Ryaki has nothing to say. Yay, it's night time. Hmm, <clears throat> as such, soon 
the door. Okay, then. We all promise not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Yeah, I, I just don't know. Oh, good eats the next day. Good morning, everyone! Get ready to go! That's I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! Oh, goody, the new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Well, guess I better give that a look. He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Okie dokie. Wait, what was the menu button again? Oh yeah, X, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that was it. Hooray, okay. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope, still waiting on Biaki and Taka. Biaki is no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he is trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is... <sighs> I am thirsty. Oh, this part. Good lord. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make me some tea? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well... Oh, why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh, um... Uh, okay. This part, she annoys me. Like, oh, you'll see why, but... I just, I can't with her. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi scullied, so, scullied, scullied his way into the kitchen. I can read, I swear. And a few minutes later, he has returned. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Hifumi reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. I emphatic emphatically emphatically whatever, I swear I can read. I emphatically design <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm just mm. My brain has not been all there, so I decline! You're not my type at all! <laughs> it's all about the law of casualty, basic instinct, act and react. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh, oh wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Celeste, that was a waste of tea and a waste of a cup. 
This is why this this is one of the reasons why I do not like her. But like I find I still find her interesting. But this part I just I I'm I'm furious at her for this. Like it's not like she paid Hifumi to make her tea. So like you know she's so entitled. I swear to God. Okay, let's get on with this. Crash. What? What the? Hey, hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? <sighs> I hate this kind of tea. Um, uh, um, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we're at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further imagine that I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? But this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for, the caf for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared react- Oh, sorry. I, I almost read that as Celeste. I really need to learn how to switch characters. If I, had to, if I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. My point exactly. Um, I went to all that trouble to make that tea and you wanted me to go even farther? My god, Celeste, you're not my type anymore. <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. A bit? That's putting it lightly. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! <laughs> We're starting to see the re I mean... I'll refrain from making any comments until later in the game. That does not matter! Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I find this part way too funny. What? <laughs> oh my god, I, I laugh every time. Uh, okay, your little piggy will bring it right out. Excuse me for laughing, but <laughs> I do so love coercion. Coercion. I, I don't really know how to pronounce that word, so please excuse me. Huh? You were like a totally different person just now. Like extremely different, as if you were showing your true. Owie. Shh. Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah, you really went psycho there. <laughs> uh, pardon moi. I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. Just wait till you see. I mean... I really need to learn when to not spoil stuff. <clears throat> the dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... <laughs> bad news, everyone. There is a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that? He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It, it might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Ah, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone, my god. Um... Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well, then. Very well. Then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late, like with Saika. Cause, yeah... Anyway, we have to just do our best to find Byakuya. So where might Byakuya have gone? I mean, I know where. Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. I mean, Makoto's more or less right. We obviously know where he is.
Also, I might end this episode soon, so why am I moving to this? Sorry. I'm, like, not. Okay. But, yeah, I might end this, like, soon. Probably after we find Byakia and stuff. So, yeah. Just an FYI. The steers were... Mm, this way. Okay. I always make sure I don't get one. I'll spend coins later. Hello, Kyoko. Hey. So you thought to come here too? Huh? So... If you think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he is right now, right? I mean, duh. Huh? What was it Byakuya was interested in again? The library? I mean, we all know that. So, like, yeah. It's basically where he lives throughout the game from here on out. Not much of a spoiler, but yeah. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out and said in surprise, Byakia! Of all the things I'd imagine, this most definitely wasn't one of them. Okay, I mean, he's just calmly sitting there reading a book, but I guess he was expecting him dead, I don't know. Jeez, Makoto. Hey, uh, what hey. are you doing? Oh, sorry, I forgot this part was spoken. Never mind. I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> I mean, as much as I have, like, disliked Byakuya more and more, I, I do like him for lines like this, so. I mean, I, I don't really hate Byakuya, but over time, I've, I've cared for him less and less, so. I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Byakia snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Byakuya! So this is where you've been hiding! <sighs> the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. <laughs> well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading, my god. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well... What were you reading? <laughs> a mystery novel? Wow. Wait, so are you gonna use that what you're learning in there to betray us? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah! It's just something to keep in mind. Yep, yeah. what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you might- you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> his words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn what the you. F do you mean, game? That's effed up, man. <laughs> but it is a game. It's a game of life or death. Which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. And it's gonna be me. You got that? <sighs> he is right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It is a part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. And in this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually, entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here in this case. Is that okay? Our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Blacken. 
So in other words... So, this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. Th that that can't be what, what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? Why, but why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others, exactly what I would expect from the Dokami heir apparent. <sighs> it's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second. You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the F do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna F and kill you! Don't make me repeat this. Like myself. I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but... Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Byakia? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. Hm. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? N no. Th that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill our own friend, to kill your own friends is is. That's horrific. <laughs> friends? Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, but you know. What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Poor Chihiro. Come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Oh, poor baby. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking around. Hey, butthead. You get off on bullying people that can't fight back? You wanna try that on me? <laughs> so, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! F you! What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! That's it! You're effing dead! Just a second! Uh, hold on! Just calm down! Piece of shit! I am calm! <sighs> how is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Dude, shit. Quit talking like you're in an effing movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. He is such... He's such a stuck-up piece of... Yeah. Without a second glance back, Byakia left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, F him then. <laughs> Maybe... But what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? Hey, come on, you two, Toko. 
anyway. Well, it's not like anyone would care even if I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet you all will want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. Uh, I'm telling you. You just think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. <laughs> you think I don't know what, but I do. You want me gone. What the heck? And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing. Thing, don't you? Uh, hey, Toko, wait! <laughs> Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. I mean, she has a point, so... Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time to take even a day off. I need to get myself going. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to end this episode here, and after this we will go spend some coins, and then we will go talk to somebody, and I mean, yeah. Okay, so I will end this episode here. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys have been enjoying my Let's Plays of Danganronpa, and yeah, so take care everyone.